Hello everyone, welcome back to the 2023 Oscatch World Cup round of 16. We've got Chile and Australia coming at you. Dolan, joined by Sekre. Hello, hello. I am back again for another cast today. This is going to be the last one of the day. We've got a nice 12 hour break out of this match, but this match is going to be a banger. It is Chile and Australia. Oh man, how do you, what do you think is going to happen between these two? Well, I think there's a clear favorite, but I think we've also seen that these early round map pools, um, these lower seeded teams can compete. So Australia at the 13th seed should be able to do something. We'll see how well they scale to this round of 16 map pool. But Chile, the fourth seed, looking very good, consistent, and dominant in their match last week against China. Oh, yeah. Chile, even though they did lose one point against China, it was a triple FC. What can you do, you know? It's like, you know, it's inevitable. So hopefully we can see Chile put out the same performance as they did last week. Australia, they also did pretty well last week too. So if they can keep up their performance, maybe they can take what if you points off of Chile, maybe we can see a TV, maybe they can see the whole play, you know. Who knows? But the Chileans definitely come in as the favorites. Now we're going to look at this map pool here. Looks like Chile have won the roll. Yes, they have. We do have double text in the chat. That's pretty funny to see. But it is obviously now. That's good. Chile going to be picking first. As you get to see Australia's fan. Probably going to be... Maybe... Well, I bet my money that they're not going to ban Hidden because in Australia do love their Hidden, but I'm definitely leaning towards Double Timer Hard Rock, the speed-oriented side of things. It's definitely where Chile kind of thrive, and it is going to be DT1. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised at DT1 in specific because that one's the easier DT of the whole map pool. Chile going to be banning Hard Rock 1, which is also a bit surprising because that one's one of the easier Hard Rocks in the map pool. It's more so a consistency pick, so... Surprising fans, at least for me here. No right, mod rockets. Maybe a little confusing on the actual bands themselves. All right, Chile will have the first pick. It's gonna be double time three. And double time three. That makes perfect sense coming out of Chile. Chile having some of the best DT players in the game, and coming right out the gates with this fast, speedy, high AR one just makes perfect sense. And so the rosters will get moved around and the teams will get set. It's easy gone checking out now for Chile. Giving us a little bit of a debate there. Oh, they're coming back on the other side. Don't worry. That is well, for sure. The question is who? They definitely have a big depth over there on that Chilean bench. I mean, Aurizio is going to be coming in. That's a guarantee. If he isn't, I don't know what I'd do. That's, I'd be shocked. But he's coming in. If he isn't, it's okay. It's, it's just game set match. Yeah, pretty much. There he oh, is. There it is. Rissiel, Stark. Honestly, could be anyone. Could be Pekorat. Could or be Don't Play you. CTV. Or Don't Play, yeah. <laughs> or Don't Play. It's, it can be literally yeah. almost any of the other Chilean players. See, that's but the crazy thing about the Chilean roster. Is they can just fill in anyone for pretty much every map, you know? It almost just doesn't matter. And it is going to be Pegarat filling in that last spot for Australia. It's going to be Crimson, please, Quijibo, and Easy Gone. Yeah, I'd say this is probably the most expected rosters for both teams, especially on this map. Easy Gone probably going to be playing every map, considering their performance so far in the tournament. One of the best qualifier players and one of the best players from last round as well. So to keep an eye out on. Yeah, Australia definitely going to be leaning on them pretty heavily here to get the job done. Chile definitely one of the potential favorites to get into that grand final. Definitely about four teams in the tournament with high hopes after the qualifiers. For sure, for sure. If not grand finals, then definitely podium is what their hopes are for sure this year. 
this match is probably their first real difficult match, I'd say. And how well they do here is gonna determine how far they can get and how easy it's going to be for them. He's gonna say 17 degrees being too cold? Come on. That's perfect weather. 17 Celsius, by the way. So yeah, that's about 63 Fahrenheit for us Americans. <laughs> Here's the keyboard, quick Google search. Yeah, just like, <laughs> you know you have to, dude. Can you, hey, can you tell me what 17 <laughs> Celsius is? You can't tell me what 17 Celsius is on top of your head. No, I can't, but I would have nope. guessed it's average mid-temperatures. Yeah, that's like perfect catch weather, honestly. Of course, then again, you and I live in two separate parts of the country and probably have two different definitions of that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And here's anyway. We are going to get to the map. Easygon's going to be taking that hidden mod. Just for that reading it. Reading right there. No extra points. Here we go. Just a personal preference indeed. It's underway Chile and Australia in the round of 16. A very short map here. You know, the first part of this map isn't that hard. It's all pretty much in the ending where the huge difficulty comes. Seen even the lower seeded teams have not much difficulty on this intro, and once it gets to that last 40 seconds or so, it really kicks up. Yeah, so far so good for everyone here. Just a few droplet misses. Yeah, the droplets are pretty even as well. One droplet miss a team. Yeah, maybe Chile with a one droplet lead at the moment is dead even and it's probably all going to come down to this final half of the Oh, Easy Kong getting caught out there in the midsection. First miss. See, if you told me anyone else would have been the first miss, I wouldn't have been shocked, but that's actually going to be a second miss from Easy Kong and Quijibo. Traded by Stark real quickly, though. Oh, Pepper Pepper Rack, finds oh, the third oh. miss traded with Crimson, please, yeah. And it's a risk deal. Being, yeah, he's the only FC, and considering he's one of the best deep players, it's not that surprising. Shall I? few more misses from Australia, they're just going to be running away with them towards the end. About 100,000 points here. Yeah, the Aussies were able to stay with them through the opening half, but as you said, it's all in that second half and Chile, pedal to the metal. 1-0 on their opening pick. Yeah, only two misses on the side of Chile, which is honestly well done. The 2.9 million team score out of Chile. Phenomenal, they win it by roughly 100k even over Australia. And now Australia, I'd be willing to guess, would go to the hidden pool here. Yeah, it's definitely potential for the side of Australia. Maybe they could go mix mod. I think that's also a potential option for them. They also, you know, no mod one available as well. I'm sure they've got that pick in yeah. their back pocket they're thinking about as well. They've got a number of options here, but they're definitely known for their hit. And we will get a look at that pool. Wide open here, all three hit maps available. Both mixed mods. No mod also wide open with the one convert. I think if they do pick hidden though, it's probably going to be hidden one or two. I don't see hidden three being that great of a pick, personally. I think it's kind of toss up I mean, on that map in particular. I think Chile like, might have a slight advantage. It's pretty close though. Yeah, you could definitely argue that. Chile are sort of the... When it comes to the top teams, they're sort of the best all-around team, you could argue, in a sense. Because, like you said, they can switch just about almost any of their players for nearly any single map you throw at them. Yeah, they're definitely up there, for sure. And that's the best thing. They could probably play Hidden right now, and they'd be able to swap out all their members for their Hidden roster. It'd be completely fine, you know. No need to worry about having reading issues. Australia definitely taking their time here. It's going to be Nomad 2. Yeah. If you start with Nomad. It's definitely not a bad pick. I think it's not as mechanically difficult. It is the mechanical pick of the pool, but it's not that hard that these players should work on it that much, so I think it's fine as a pick. You know, it could also just be that Australia maybe don't want to transition from double time three into a lower 
protrate hidden map. I mean, yeah, but what I think is it is chill at hidden. That's that too. Even they, they, if you're really good at hidden, it's still chill, at, you know? <laughs> like they're they're one of the best hidden teams. Even if you're one of the best as well, it's tough. Here we go. On the no mod. It's gonna be don't play CTB, Arisiel, and Eldenel for Chile. Two substitutions there. Australia sticking with their original three. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised to see Eldenel coming in for this one. Usually you don't see Eldenel on the more technical maps, but easier. I'm surprised it's not like Pekorat or something. Actually, it does look like we're gonna be getting one substitution on the side of Australia here. They're trying to move Wang Wang into the lobby. They'd stay with their core three, Princess Please, Crimson Bow, and Easy Gun for the most part. I want to guess it's Crimson Please that is going to be checking out here. Oh man. No, it's going to be Quinchy Bow actually. Even Wang Wing is like, I'm on Noma too. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, look at Quinchy Bow. They're making deals in the chat. Oh no, usually you want to get that stuff sorted out before the match, you know who's playing what match, uh, but... Can somebody tell Quijibo he's not typing in his team Discord server, that is the actual match server, I don't know if he's aware of that. Yeah, true. Oh man, but we're gonna be getting started here. Going into Nomad 2, map number 2 of the match. Indeed, round number 2, Nomad 2. Australia's opening pick here. A much longer map than the first. Only a minute longer. Still one of the shorter maps in the pool, overall at least. But it definitely is a little bit different than the first one. Got some wiggles in the intro. You can easily catch someone off guard if their fingers are cold, like easy guns were. Ooh. And hey, speaking of cold fingers, maybe don't play ZTB as them right there. Anonymous. In the intro, advantage Australia, very early miss. It won't cripple the Chileans. Easy Gun is going to follow up with a miss of his own before 200. This will be advantage Chile. On Crimson Please, going to be following that up with a, for Australia. Getting into the end of this first chorus section with the Wiggles. Everybody on side of Chile seems to be doing pretty well so far. Oh, and that's a brutal miss right before the break from Wang Wang. They know that they're behind quite a bit now. It's going to be at least two misses worth of points being behind. Only two and a half, given the amount of your miss. Yeah, the Australians are definitely going to need at least a double miss coming out of Chile here to stop this momentum and turn things around. Halfway the thing through. Is, this part is all free combo. You know, there's a bit of a harder part right here you're getting into, but that last 100 combo was completely free. Chile looking good in the driver's seat, pulling away. Third of the map, left. And still, the accuracy coming out of Arisio, holding that SS, a miss coming out of Wang Wang, and now Australia. They're running out of time here. They're going to be essentially a meltdown here for Chile. And this whole next part is free combo again. It's another slow part until the very ending section. It's not that much left in the map. Over 100,000 points in favor of Chile. Australia are going to need a miracle here to overturn this deficit. Looks like Chile going to be starting strong here with a 2-0 lead. Crimson please finding another miss. Yeah, and it's not even like Australia is doing that bad on this map. It's just, how do you compete with a one miss at the very start of the map? You don't, unless you're triple FC, which, you know, it's not really realistic to expect a triple FC. 
That's how it's going to be right there. 150,000, the final margin of victory there. And it is going to be an exact 3 mil score almost for Chile. How do you compete with 3 million? Get over 3 million. Simple. But, Big I mean, it's, it's tough. It's very tough. Chile will have to pick now. Gotta imagine that they're gonna be going into that hard rock pool potentially here, into that mix mod pool maybe. Oh yeah, Chile is just gonna go back to DT. I mean, it makes sense. That's what they're known for, you know. They're still being one of the better players with DT. Pekarat, Stark, Osun. They're all just really good with DT, and they worked for the last pick, so why not go back to it? You know? Gonna go ahead and get the last DT map out of the way here. Milk. Yeah, we're Snow Leopard. You gotta ping him. DT2 is picked. Definitely one of the more popular songs of the map pool this week. This one's gonna be AR 8.3 DT here. A little bit different than the previous double time map we saw. Just a little bit. Kujibo asked, why are they DT AR under 8.5? DT3 is 8.6. Just saying. Don't tell him that. Yeah. Right, don't worry. If he's gonna watch the VOD, he'll know. He'll know. He'll know. Once again, we see some substitutions from Chile swapping players around, bringing Pekarat back in. With Arisiel, no surprise, as you said on Double Time, one of the best players in the world, period. Yeah. Australia, bring it back in, put you both for Wang Wang. Not a surprise there either. Gonna be getting started. Round number three. Chile looking to widen the gap. There's a map that they could definitely win the gap on. It's going to be this one. There's going to be two very early misses from both Quijibo and Don't Play CT. Quijibo is going to be a very slightly less punishing. And that one's going to hurt a bit. Yeah, that'll follow it up and tip the scales in Chile's favor here at the start. Quijibo finding yet another one. And once again, early advantage to Chile. Only three FCs on the board. And I was only two. Easy on breaking their FC. Bit surprising that they're not playing as well today as they have in other weeks. They didn't mention the cold fingers being a thing, so maybe it's a bit too much on their hands for right now. Quidjibo breaking on pretty much a vertical slider. That's gotta feel horrible. I'm sorry, man. Nothing worse than breaking on a nice vertical slider. Yeah, sometimes it just happens too fast and you're just like, ah, oh, it sucks. Yeah, that score gap is, it's just ballooning at this point. It's already going to be almost 200,000 points as soon as all the dust settles. Pekarat, gonna be the second miss on Team Chile in the top left, but it's yeah. quickly traded. Yeah, quickly traded in Arisiel and don't play CTB, putting in the work with the massive combos. Only one FC, that's Arisiel. Looking to 100% FC these DT maps. Quarter map left. Yeah, this yeah. out control is pretty much all but over. Quijibo is down quite a bit, a lot of, quite a bit of points compared to everybody else in the lobby. But even then, if it was FC, it still would have been pretty close because. You know, there's an FC from Rissiel, one miss from Don't Play CTB at the intro, and Pekarat's got like a two miss as well, so there's not much you can do, even if you FC, so well played to decide in Chile for that one. Yeah, it would have taken near perfection to take that point away from Chile, 2.9 million points. 3-0 Australia with the next pick.
3-0 Chile, Australia with the next pick. And Australia desperately need to convert this. Yeah, I mean, if there's one saving grace for Australia right now, you just gotta think to yourself, well, they can't pick DT anymore, you know? That's the only good thing that's really here. It's just that Chile can also play everything else. So, you gotta find something that works. You gotta find something. I think they have to at some point high up that HD pool and just bite that bullet. Will they choose to go maybe with Mixmon? No mod one still remains. They are really gonna think about this. It's a very important pick. We might see a timeout called, who knows? And again, of these hit maps, it's more likely to be hidden one or hidden two, as you said, and it is going to be hidden one. Yeah, hidden one, I think, is a. Uh pretty decent pick overall it's pretty average like you're gonna do well for the most part of the map but then the ending is gonna hit and then you're either gonna do really well or you're not gonna feel yourself at all you're just gonna completely lose it and hoping that you go into this you're feeling great on the ending and you can actually get a good combo that's kind of what australia is probably banking on here is that they feel great and hey they got the x gun buff x gun buff they have easy gone Close enough, right? Just Mapper place buff. a letter. Yeah, pretty much, right? They're going to bring in Panda Bear for their first map of the match. The HD Specialist alongside Crimson Please and Easy Gone. That will be the lineup for Australia. They're going to be opposed by Pekarat, Eldenel, and Lechu. Not too many teams in the world can compete with that hidden lineup right there. Oh, yeah. It's, it's tough. But the good saving grace is this isn't the lower yard pick, so... Elden L and Lechu aren't as strong as they could be on something that would be like A or 7. But the same also applies to Easy. So it's kind of moot, but hey, it still matters a little bit. Yeah, definitely the fact that that AR is, you know, still only 9.1 is going to benefit Australia here. Because we've seen Elden L and Lechu going on that low AR. And it's, it's Just dirty. For easy to do those maps. Yeah. It's also going to be a big consistency test here, too. Three minutes and 44 seconds, one of the longer maps in the pool this weekend. Yeah, I believe it's the second longest just after No Mod 1 and the TB, of course. Realistically, shouldn't be seeing many misses in the first parts of this map. Especially the first 400 combo, I'd say. It's mostly jump-based. We have seen a few in this small jump section or something. So this is one of the farther jumps. Wesley happened to him earlier today. A bit unfortunate, but seems like nobody's gonna be missing on these jumps in the intro. Just a small spinner advantage for Chile at the start. That's the only thing separating the players at the moment. And now things are gonna start to build. players handle that transition. Once again, we're coming in from a double time to a hidden, and Panda Bear is going to be the first miss. Yeah, that's going to be right before the map really starts to pick up in this chorus part of the stream, so it's really unfortunate, but if there's any place that people are going to miss early on, it's going to be in the stream section. Still five way FCs across the board. That halfway mark, it's still a very close one here. Australia gonna need some help, but Panda Bear's gonna go down again on that slider. Jump yeah, really slider. Didn't move all the way to catch that, nope, unfortunately. Oh, and now just really struggling. 
and Chile. Two double S is just essentially one problem is... I guess you could say they're chilling. You know what I mean? Oh, oh. This, this guy. I mean, hey, they are. Look at them. They got three FCs still. Bandit Bear on the other hand. I don't think they're chilling that well. This he guy. only misses so far in the match. Yep, and now Crimson going down. That's definitely going to solidify it. Chile showing no signs of slowing down or stopping. And Australia are going to need essentially a team miss to even have a chance of coming back into this one. I mean, they're going to need at least two at this point. It's, it's tough. And now just really out of sorts and out of rhythm here is Panda Bear struggling in the last quarter. But unfortunately, there's just not much Australia could have done here. I mean, yeah, except for just FC, just like Chile is, you know? That's all you got. That's all you can do right here. Look at them. They have three FC still. Well, no, not even that. A FC and out spin. Yeah, that too. I mean, Lechu has missed quite a few droplets, which is a little bit of a saving grace, but... It don't matter, honestly. We are going to be getting into the hardest part of the map right here, the ending. I would say if it was closer, maybe we could see some turns, but it, it's not that, that close. Elden Elf does drop. Pekarat does drop too. Wait. The meltdown's it's, coming, wait. but it, there's not enough time. It's, it's nowhere near enough map. And maybe if they kept it more competitive for yeah. the first half. Yeah, everybody besides Lechu is actually dropping their FC. You see Easy Gun dropping the FC right at the end. Lechu yeah. only FC. Hopefully. Oh, another high 2.9 million team score from Chile. And Australia actually played the ending of that map quite well. And as you yeah, said, they upped Chile on the ending. They were behind a few hundred thousand before it ever got to that point. Four at least they cut the lead in half. Chile with the next pick. No double time, but certainly not out of options. They have Mixed Mod, they have Hard Rock. They could go for Hidden 3 if they really want to test Australia, but. Could be an option, honestly. I mean, if you're Chile, you probably see Panda Bear's performance on the last one. Yeah, they're going right into another Hidden Pick, Hidden 2. Maybe the feeling Australia is not as strong on hidden as thought they were. Very interesting pick here out of Chile. I, I would have expected hidden three if they were to pick one, but they're gonna go with hidden two here. Ken map. Yeah, that makes I think sense. hidden two overall. It's more consistent on the map, I think. If you can play this, you can play it. You can play it pretty well, pretty consistently. You're going to get an FC pretty often if you can play the map. Meanwhile, Hidden 3, even if you can play the map very well, it's just kind of point flipping, you know? And There's some patterns that you just miss no matter what. Absolutely zero substitutions from either side, and why would they swap anybody out? This is AR Raid Hidden, and Chile have Eldenel and Lechu in the lobby alongside Pekoret. Same roster for Australia, Crimson Please, Panda Bear, and Easy Gone. A much shorter hit map at 1 minute 51 seconds. The only thing I could have seen maybe being a possibility for substitutions would have been Wang Wang instead of Hand Bear. But these guys are in, they know what they're doing. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Ooh, early miss out of Elvenel of all people. So that's going to be a slight advantage Australia. And, you know, Panda Bear definitely is uh, one of the dedicated lower AR hidden players for Australia. Yeah. We also had a very, very early miss from Crimson Me Please as well. About 20 combo win. So it's not that big in the grand scheme of things. Out of Elgin Elf. Yeah, Elgin Elf. And that's actually consequential there as Panther goes down with Elgin Elf. Pekorat and Crimson Police trading. This is advantage Australia all the way. It's easy gone versus Lechu. And that's why I said this was kind of a dangerous pick into Australia. They are a hidden team. And so far, so good for the Australians. Pulling about a 40-50k advantage here. 
Oh, but Crimson, please, that is... Oh, that's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that no. section is really brutal if you just don't time your taps very well and it's gonna swing right back to Chile's favor. We just ate Australia oh. alive. Pecorat is going to find one miss that's gonna save Australia a little bit here. A New chain miss. is here for Pecorat. So, still advantage Chile, but Australia now with a chance. Panda Bear going down. Final quarter of the map. This is still very much up in the air. Chile ahead by about one miss. That was going to be two misses. Panda Bear finds another one right before the slow part. It's going to be really hard to find a miss on the last section of this map. Let you ease this. Easy on still with the FC. It's easy on with an S success as well. Yeah, and Panda Bear unfortunately just not able to find any consistency here in the last half of the map. It's going to be Chile taking it back from Australia. They'll lead yeah. it 5 nothing. Match point. The thing is, Chile like, definitely looked pretty vulnerable on that one, I'd say. Pekarat and Eldeno having not as good performances as I think they would have liked. We do see Easy on and you both with the FCs for that map. Well played from both of them. That's well enough on the side of Australia. It were those rare moments where we saw Eldeno just not have a good launch on the low AR hidden, and as we saw with Fui last week, you, know, you just don't get a good launch on a low AR hidden pick. It, it doesn't matter if you're one of the better hidden players out there. It is going to affect your rhythm, and you're not going to have a good time. But thankfully, Elden has got great teammates. So, Australia, with the pick, down 5 0. What do you do? What do you even do here? You gotta I get think, six in a row? I think you just nomad, I think you just nomad rip it. <laughs> just grip yeah. it with nomad one or mix pod. I think that's your really only options here as Australia. You haven't tested Hard Rock the whole match, so you really can't just go in there blindly. So it would have to be no mod one, three, or one of the mixed mods I would I would wager. I mean no mod three is like the map I'd want to avoid personally against Chile. That's like right up the rally. I'd say no mod one probably is the best. Followed by mixed mod one maybe. Either way, you're gonna have to win pretty much all of them, anyways. So. And they're gonna go Hard Rock too. Interesting. Yeah, this one's a bit surprising for me. Hard Rock yeah. being a bit straining on the reading if you're not prepared for it. Maybe they're hoping to catch Chile off guard. Back to back Ken maps here. Ken, go to mapper. Honestly. Go to mapper. Go to player. That guy destroys tournaments. I swear. He's just go to. See how this affects the rosters. Arisiel checking in for Chile. Subbing in for Lechuguin. And don't play CTB coming in for Pecorat. No substitutions for Australia. Well, we do see Quijbo coming back in on that hard work slot. Oh. Come Placing, on. I believe, was Panda Bear. That's right, yeah, Panda Bear. Yeah, Panda Bear. Right, so I'm saying you woke up three hours ago. Uh, good old Chilean thing right there. Wake up at 5 p.m. Beautiful. Vamos. Vamos, Chile. Well... That's what they'll be saying if they can come away with one more point here. 5-0. Yeah. Australia's winner bracket run. Backs against the wall here. They need six in a row to avoid defeat. Reading this so far. Don't play CTB. Kind of missing the stream, which is a bit unfortunate. Early advantage. Australia as the combos approach 200, and there's a miss from Eldenel. Traded by Crimson, please. It'll be a one miss advantage for Australia. It's a 
again. Miss is being traded at the top of the screen. And Australia with a decent launch here. Kujibo is going to find a miss on that stream section. And that is going to allow Chile to narrow the gap and eat away that advantage. Score should get very close if Australia can recover well here. Oh, easy gone going down right at the halfway mark. That's the last thing you really wanted to see if you're an Australian fan right here. They missed quite a bit of the nose too, as well. They're actually dropped all the way to 99. So just one miss. A bit unfortunate. Now in the slower sections here. Australia needs some help here. And they get it yeah, from it. the CTP. That is a massive miss. Yeah, it's going to bring it back to right about even, honestly. Considering all these players will hold their combos. Yeah, but Australia should be flipping this score here as Don't Play CTB recovers. This is going to get very close into the final sections of the map. Australia taking the lead. Don't Play CTB goes down again. Miss. Some daylight for Australia to avoid the sweep. Easy Gone is going to trade a miss. Still advantage Aussies. Can they hold it? The Chileans on their heels, looking for the sweep. They've got the brooms. They're chasing them down the hall. The Chilean janitors looking for a sweep. Australia by the head of their chitty chin chins. Survive by less than 2,000 points. I kept going for just a few more combo. Maybe it might have flipped. That was, oh, oh my lord. That's what you want to see if you're an Australian fan. They didn't get swept. They got one. Put the get brooms away, more. Chile. And no sweeps here, dude. No sweeps here. Some pickums just got saved big time. Oh yeah, I know mine did. <laughs> <laughs> Wowie, but I mean, Australia finally able to find some consistency, at least on two of their players, and Chile just kind of alternating misses between don't play CTB and even Eldenel struggled a little bit. My goodness. Now we just gotta win five more. Yeah. <sighs> One down. It is gonna be Chile's pick. But I'm sure the Australians right now are just happy to have a point on the board, some momentum going for once. But Chile Definitely is going to go hidden three. Oh, hidden three? Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough. Chile going right back to the hidden. They've only picked DT and hidden so far. That is very interesting. These teams have been staying away from mix mod and no mod primarily. They've, it's all been the hidden hard rock and double time, your traditional mods. When you do think of Chile, you don't really think of them as a Nomad team, really. I mean, you could think of them as a hard rock team, but Nomad is like the last one. Like that. So it makes sense. Yeah, but it also makes sense for them to pick these mods because, I mean, when you think about it realistically, Nomad and Mixed Mod are probably the most flexible uh, mod pools for the lower seeded teams. Yeah. For sure. But. That also raises an interesting point here for Australia. If they're able to survive this pick, you know, Chile's out of essentially traditional mods and you have to go no mod, mix mod, which I think Australia would stand a bit more of a chance on. Yeah, definitely a little bit more of a chance than they currently have on the other maps. Which, it's something, you know, it's definitely not completely over yet. It ain't over till it's over. Chile is looking to make it over here in the seventh round with Pekarat, Eldenel, and Lechu back in the lobby. Quite the fearsome hidden lineup. It's going to be Crimson Please, Easy Gone, and Panda Bear for Australia. And there is the start command from official Leo. Short hidden map coming up. Era 9.3. Map by Yoshi Green, player from Canada. Yeah, this one is really wiggly. You can see even just from the start, you got those wiggles. Some players decided to walk 
um, some players who play only level. Honestly, all down to personal preference. Some people find walking more consistent. But Phantom Bear, not having that consistency on the intro, I'm gonna be getting at least one miss before it starts. So far, it is the only miss on the board advantage, Chile. Everybody hits the massive cross-screen slider there. Oh, Panda Bear getting caught out on the second one. Not the third one, though. Fortunately for them, that's going to put Australia behind the eight ball here as Panda Bear finds yet another miss. struggling on this hidden three pick, which is a bit unfortunate as everybody else still has FCs. Yeah, everybody it's else in down. the lobby doing well. Yeah, it's already 120,000 points to score gap right here. Oh, but Lechuk goes down! Right after the break <laughs> on the next combo. That is unfortunate. But fortunately for Chile, they have a pretty big advantage and they're going to need to essentially find many more misses for Australia to get this. I think Australia is going to need at least one or two more misses here in the final quarter to flip this. Still possible, but let you already recovering back up to 200. Crimson, please, finding a miss. And that just might be the end of this match. Yeah, it's looking really hard to get that 120,000 points back right in descending. Pretty slow ending overall. Some tricky stacks. We're gonna see three people miss on those tricky stacks actually right there. But it's pretty much all but over for Australia right now. Easy gun being the only FC on this. And the only pick. the only SS at that too is yeah. gonna get a little bit of a flex on Chile going down swinging there, but it is going to be a 6-1 victory for the Chileans. They just look so strong the whole way through. Australia only able to get a point off of them by 2,000. Yeah, I mean, well played to Chile. They had a really good showing today. Even though Australia, they didn't have the best of showings, they still, you know, they were pretty respectable, honestly. They didn't completely just lose a map, you know. They still came in, had decent scores on every map, but Chile was just a better team today. Yeah, just the better overall team, and they definitely had a few opportunities to get a couple more points here and there, but all in all, they did pretty much the best they could have. Chile just so strong, so consistent, and the depth is just insane. They are your winners here in the round of 16. They'll move on to the winner's bracket quarterfinals, but they will face the winner of the Philippines and Russian Fe Federation. And Australia will be heading down to the loser's bracket to face the winner of Brazil and the United Kingdom next week. Both those matches should be pretty interesting, given how they would go. But that is going to be it for us for today. Next match is going to be in about 11 hours from now. It's going to be at 12 UTC. That's going to be Poland, Taiwan. That's going to be a bang match. And that's going to be an insane match. The 7 that's seed and the 10 seed. As Mr. Sakurai said, coming up in 11 hours, so a big, long break. Definitely don't stick around. Go live your life. Touch some grass. Sleep. I know that's what our operator's going to be doing. He needs to do that, so we're going to log off before he whacks us with a ruler. Anyway, for Sakurai, this is Dolan signing off for now. We'll see you in 11 hours for Poland versus Taiwan.